Greetings, fellow scribes! Welcome back to the Archive! This week, I continue my series on the classes of Dark Sun by talking about the Cleric. Clerics in Dark Sun are a little different from what you see on other settings. They have their own customized spell lists because there are no gods on Dark Sun. Clerics all worship a specific elemental plane. This affects the weapons and armor they like to use, as well as other factors like what spells they have and certain abilities. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we talk about the Athasian Elemental Clerics. Athasian Clerics are, as I mentioned, unique in that they do not worship gods, because there are no gods on Athas. Instead, the Athasian cleric swears their allegiance, swears their spirituality to one of the four elemental spheres. Fire, wind, earth, water. And what they can do depends entirely on that sphere. You see, first off, they have to deal with their spell selection. They get major access, which is all seven levels of spells from the elemental sphere associated with their elemental plane. And then they get minor access, which is spells up to the third level from what was called the Sphere of the Cosmos. Now, this is significant. You see, the individual elemental spells are a lot of the more powerful spells, especially when you look at the Sphere of Water. I mean, the first level spell from Sphere of Water is like necessary. Create water. On a world like Athes, it's a big deal. Many of the other spells from it, not so much. Sphere of Fire is like ability to endure heat, heat metal. Again, not that common on Athes because most people aren't going to be wearing metal armor. You know, wall of Fire, stuff like that. Sphere of Earth is mostly about defensive type spells. Magical stone, melon to stone, stone shape, spike stones. Sphere of Air is where you see some of the more blatantly offensive spells. Call Lightning, Control Winds, Plane Shift. That sort of thing. Although, again, the elemental spells... Clerics in 2nd edition D&D were not that offensively capable. Most of your spells were buffs or auxiliary type things. And... The Sphere of Cosmos... That is where you see the spells like Bless, Cure Light Wounds... Detect magic. You know, all the cure spells. All the heal spells. The sphere of the cosmos is basically dealing with stuff that occurs in nature and healing. Although there are a few very special spells in it. Like the sixth level spell, Create Tree of Life. But, for the most part, the cleric spells first through third level in the Sphere of Cosmos are what most people think of when they think of the job of a cleric. Cure light wounds, cure moderate, cure serious. Those things. 
while all the others are a bit more utility based are more situationally useful but as a cleric you pick your element and not only do you get the spells from your element you can as you progress in levels get certain specific abilities you can ignore the presence of your element so if you are a cleric of fire you can ignore fire if you are a cleric of air you can walk through a windstorm with no effects cleric of earth you're not going to be scoured to the bone by a sandstorm those sorts of things at seventh level a cleric gets the ability to gate in a amount of their material uh, one cubic foot per level above sixth now what can you actually do with that it really depends you can cause a fire a massive fire by getting in a cubic foot of pure fire you can drop a cubic foot of stone on someone. You can gate in a cubic foot of water. That sort of thing. A getting in a cubic foot of wind, air, that's generally just a gust of wind. But still, it's if you're creative, you can use that. Now, whatever you conjure up, it is literally just a cube of that element. You can't shape it. You can't do anything with it. So you can't summon a cubic foot of earth in the form of a hammer or a staff. But you can summon a block of one cubic foot of rock and well let's face it a cubic foot of rock is pretty darn heavy now it's not specifically a granted power but one of these spells is summon elemental and that is a fifth level spell in dark sun so any cleric can do that at ninth level. Of course, you also get certain restrictions for your weapons and armor, your preferred weapons and armor, based on your element. Clerics of Earth are sort of the best armed, since they can use stone and metal in their weapons. And they can also use wood. So you can actually have them in wood scale armor. Or wood brigandine armor. Or metal armors too. Air, it doesn't really lend itself to armors, so most air clerics aren't going to really wear armor and they're going to use bows, blowguns, or slings. Things that are guided or directed by air. Fire? Well, these clerics, they like to douse their weapons with oil and set them alight they can also get away with obsidian because obsidian was was under great heat deep in the earth as for armor it's got to be something that was worked with heat worked with fire so they're almost always going to go for metal armors 
plane of water. Again, it doesn't really lend itself much towards weapons. So you have to look at indirectly here. And for these people, the clerics of water, it's since water is the bringer of life, bone and wood weapons are allowed. As are armors made from something that was living. So armors made with wood, armors made from leather, etc., etc. And that's the pretty much overall of what do they deal with because of their plane. They have the ability to turn undead, like the standard D&D cleric. It's just they use a slightly different chart. Because on Dark Sun, undead are controlled or free-willed. It doesn't really go by what their power level is or what undead they are. It goes by their hit dice and whether they're free-willed or controlled. Unlike other settings, the Athasian clerics do not have a organization behind them. So they don't get the authorization from a church to establish a stronghold and get and get followers based on their level. That just does not happen. They have to do that the hard way. Earning it in game. And that is pretty much the Athasian cleric. Next week I will talk about the defenders of the wild places, the druids. So until then, like you all remember to have fun and keep gaming.